Hi all, it's David here from DP Computing. I'm just going to do a quick teardown or just a basic teardown of a Dell Inspiron 15 laptop just to show you how to upgrade the um, RAM, the hard drive and the battery and optical drive. Anyway, this is the underside of the unit. Oh, before we start, just remember you proceed at your own risk and um, following these steps may void your warranty. So just be careful with what you do. Now, take anti-static precautions and also make sure that the um, machine itself is unplugged. And that's just up here, just make sure the power cable is not there. First thing we have to do is remove the battery, which is here. To do that, there's actually two little sliders, make sure they're clicked out. And then you should be able to remove the battery. Should come, yep, it just comes up like that. And then you can just put that to the side. The battery itself is just a, um, I don't know if you can see there, a Dell 40 watt and it says it's a standard lithium ion battery which is 14.8 volt type XC, XCMRD. So I just put that to one side and then what we have to do is get into the back panel here and that's just remove two screws. So I just get a Phillips head screwdriver. Now these screws themselves won't remove fully, just unscrew them until you can hear them sort of starting to tick. Now um, you may need a, like a little flathead screwdriver just to get under so we can then just get it to pull off and then there's some clips on the side here and also here so just make sure you don't break them. And there as you can see we've got the memory, there's two um, uh, sticks supported. Now to get the memory out there's just two silver things just pull them to the side and up it pops and then you can pull out the memory. To put it back in just slide it in and then push it down until they click into place. The hard drive here is held in by two screws again they're Phillips head screws. Um, so just remove those two. Now these screws unlike the ones on the panel actually remove so make sure you don't leave them. They're just sort of um, a bit stubby type Phillips head screws. Now once those two screws are removed, there's a little plastic tab here. So with that plastic tab, push it or pull it that way. Just my luck, it's not coming out nicely. So push it, yep, sorry, that way and then out. So you have to disconnect it from the connector here and then to get it out from under there you just pull it back this way and then up. The drive itself is in a little mounting bracket just here which has that plastic sort of pull tab. So just remove those two screws and you can then take out the hard drive. This one's got a Seagate drive in it, it's a 500 gig. And then to put it back is just reverse of what we've done. So, oops, wrong way around. So just slide it in, or slide it down, I should say, for this side. And there we go. And then under, and then bring it back up. So it then cl clicks, and then screw it in with the two screws there. Now with the optical drive, which is sitting on, oh, I'll just turn it around again, oops, the other way. The optical drive's on the side here, that's held in by two screws, one there and one there. Again, they're just Phillips head screws, but just be wary, they're two different types of screws, that's just a small one. and that one's a bit longer compared to the other one. Once those two screws are removed, you can just pull out the drive, and there it is. Uh, it's just a normal, this one just says it's a super multi-DVD writer, and this one is from Atachi LG, Atachi LG Data Storage Inc. Um, there we go, so that's just a quick or a very quick rundown of how to upgrade some bits and pieces on a Dell Inspiron 
Thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.